compressed air leaks. They cost you a fortune, but you can't see them and you can't hear them. Until now, Hike Micro's AI56 and AI57 acoustic cameras provide a safe, simple, swift method of seeing compressed air leaks so you can stop them and save thousands of pounds worth of wasted resources and energy. Did you know you might be losing between 20 and 80% of compressed air through leaks? The US Department of Energy estimates that one three millimeter leak could cost US companies upwards of $2,500 a year, which is roughly 2,000 pounds at time of recording. That's just one leak. You likely have multiple leaks across your facility, such as the nature of working with pressurized gas, And they're all a big drain on resources, energy, and profits. So what are you going to do about them? I'll tell you. Watch this because Andy Green, Hike Micro's business development manager for the UK and Ireland, is here to tell you about a tool that is going to revolutionise your preventative maintenance and save you thousands. Welcome, Andy. Thank you, Jess. You're welcome. Um, so which Hike microacoustic cameras are we talking about today? We're talking about the the AI56 and the AI76, new additions to the Hike Micro range. So before we talk about these cameras specifically, could you just tell us a bit about acoustic imaging, how it works and why it's beneficial? We're looking for things we can't see a lot of the yeah. time, compressed air leaks in, in major food manufacturers or automotive, etc. So these tools are a great bonus for the engineer out there to see the invisible sometimes. So which sound does it pick up on? It picks up ultrasound and um, basically what we're looking for is the turbulence of that sound as well. So there could be a lot of noise in that factory and these cameras are designed in such a way that it picks up and defines what that noise is as well and helps us see the image of the sound. Could you tell us about the features and functions of the AI56 and what makes it so good at picking up on um, the sound emitted by compressed air leaks? There's two in the range. What we have is all down to the microphones and the level of what they can pick up as well. So how low that that rate is as a flow as well. So the cameras themselves are very easy to use. If I might say, one of my demos that I do with the customer is to give the camera to the customer and we work our way through it through that demo. So we we, we try and make this as simple as possible and then the real work comes when we start to analyse with our software as well. All right, could you tell us a bit about the software? Yeah, well, the, the Hike Micro Acoustic Analyzer actually comes with these cameras. So it's uh, it's not a subscription. It's a, a PC-based software mm-hmm. that can analyze the leak rate. And also, it's, we're, we're looking, again, to, to show our financial director that uh, we're saving the company money. That justifies the return on investment in these products. So I noticed that the AI56 has um, different acoustic colour palettes, and I just wondered what the advantage of that was. With with a palette, it's down to personal preference sometimes as well. So you can fade in, you can take out the palette, you can use fusion with it as well. So that gives us, or the user, uh, a better size, something they're more comfortable with using uh, with, with their eyes. So it makes it easier to use? It does, yes. If you click the box above, you can download Hike Micro's acoustic camera brochure, which contains specification for both the models we're talking about today. Meanwhile, we're going to find out exactly why the AI-76 is £2,000 more expensive than the AI-56. Now, the other acoustic camera available from Hike Micro is the AI-76, which is roughly £2,000 more expensive than the 56. Why is that? As you can see, the size of the microphones on the cameras, one has um, 64 microphones, the other has 134 microphones. So what the the extra £2,000 gets you, you can hear lower rates of energy loss or (laughs) gas leakage. So sensitivity is a real key factor with the AI-76. And does the 76 include onboard calculations or are they done on the software as well? You can have a guide regards leakage and that will show you on the screen so yes but the real magic i suppose comes when you take it and analyze it with the pc 
And is it, does it just do compressed air or is it multiple gases that you can... It's multiple gases and also partial discharge as well. Could you tell us a bit more about the partial discharge aspect, please? There's four types of partial discharge that an engineer will be looking at. More so utilities a lot of the time mm -hmm. would be looking at that. So anywhere where there's breakdown of insulation and there's leakage from partial discharge, that's where these cameras really come into their own. So considering the capabilities of these two models, to whom or for what would you recommend each of them? The, the type of customer that are using these or, or what we're recommending is down to their budget. But a lot of the time, you know, we're, we're quite honest with our customers and our end users and we'll tell them which camera is best for them. For example, the, the AI56 is, is sold mainly for compressed air. That's where we've seen the sales go with this product, where the AI76 is, is more for partial discharge as well. Yeah. But saying that the lower leak rates, if you're looking for that type of sensitivity, then the AI76 for that extra bit of money is a great tool to have. Remember to click the link in the box above to download Hike Micro's acoustic camera brochure or click the links in the description for more information as well as options to purchase. But come back because we're going to find out how Hike Micro's AI56 and AI76 will make your job faster, easier and hassle-free. One of the benefits often spouted of um, acoustic imaging cameras is that they can make maintenance technicians' jobs easier, faster, simpler. How exactly do the AI-76 and AI-56 do that? The camera is enabling the engineer to see how efficient their process is yeah. in a lot of cases. So there could be leaks there that uh, they're not aware of to the naked eye. They, they may hear them sometimes but can't see them. So the efficiency does build into this, really. So it does make the engineer's job much, much simpler. We're looking to save money with these products and make our machinery more efficient, our compressors more efficient, and we're, we're contributing to uh, helping to save the planet a little bit with, with energy loss. Um, I suppose one of the advantages of them, maybe compared to like traditional methods, is that they can scan large areas quicker. So these cameras has a range of up to 100 metres mm -hmm. and also for, for close proximity as well, where you've got uh, leaks that you want to zoom into. Yeah. Zoom out as well. I suppose that adds to user safety. Absolutely. And with the analytical function, so you can estimate like leak rate and leak cost, um, I suppose that helps with prioritising repairs. On a shop floor basis, you, you're looking to make yourself more efficient. So we're, we, we really do need to prioritise what we're going to be doing and when we're going to do that planned maintenance. These type of cameras can record, video record as well, so you can go back and analyse more before you make that decision. Let me tell you about Fred. Okay. Fred is a maintenance engineer and he has some reservations about acoustic cameras. Um, and one of his reservations is how accurate they are, like how good are they at detecting small leaks? How would you answer Fred's concerns? Any type of leak is really uh, energy loss. Getting down to that smaller leak rate, this is where the AR76 comes in. Again, with the software, you're putting parameters into that software to help you get the most efficient numbers out of that machine. So my answer is they're very accurate, but it is down to information that you put in as well. I'd like to give you an example of um, someone like Fred. And what we did, we went around a, a food manufacturer. But this time we were joined by the, uh, the the financial director because he was keen to see what the return on investment would be. Yeah. And once again, uh, the way we demo these products as well is, is to hand it to the engineer. So they went around and, and did the test themselves, the demo, and automatically they got the figures that the, the financial director didn't want to hear, really, but did want to hear to get that return on investment. So these products, again, it, it's a great tool to have in the toolbox. So Fred's second issue relates to how easily these tools integrate into existing fleets, because People don't use one tool for maintenance. They use quite a few. So do you, the AI-76 and AI-56 have any sort of features that streamline reporting? Regarding 
integrating with other tools. The, the software that we use is, is, is brilliant for the height micro analyzer. So when you've got a, a machine like this uh, and you're using our other software for uh, thermal imaging, etc., yeah. that gives the condition monitoring engineer a real easier job to analyse what's happening on the shop floor. They also come with the software, don't they? Um, the acoustic software, and you can make calculations in there as well, as we've mentioned before. And I suppose that helps with streamlining reporting too. Yes, it does. So, and it's it's just quite an easy uh, software to to follow through, mm -hmm. downloading your your. Uh, results into into your PC back in the office, but also videoing as well, so you can video your uh, your, your machinery yeah. and your leak rates, etc. So, which you, which is a great added tool. Uh, but integrating it with your other software, say for thermal imaging, it works well with that as well. Don't forget, link to the brochure in the box above. Links to web listings in the description. Next, we're going to take you through everything you need to say to convince your boss to buy one of these essential preventative maintenance tools. Well, I think you've convinced Fred. Well, the problem is Fred's got to convince his boss. And his boss, he says things like, well, a bit expensive and there are other models on the market. So what should Fred say to his boss to convince him to invest in a hype microacoustic camera? When it comes to service and return on investment, Hype Micro products in themselves offer great value for money. So that's one really main thing is, is the cost of, of buying this product straight away is, is a lot less than what's in the marketplace. The other thing is as well, we, we've got great software as well, no subscription. So there's nothing behind the scenes that, you know, the financial guy, he's got to be saying, you know, every month or every 12 months, I've got to find another X amount of pounds for software. These already come with the software. Build quality. We pride ourselves on quality, great warranty with the products as well. So you've got three year warranty on the on the instruments themselves, two years on the on the batteries. Comes in a fantastic storm case. Yes. Again, we sell these products for the service and reliability. So but if anything does go wrong, we're based in the UK. So we've got our uh, main distribution centre and repair and calibration, and that's based out in uh, Hinkley, in, right in the Midlands. We offer a fast return service as well. And we are the manufacturer. We manufacture these products. Very proud of what we do as well. We're not someone that is out in the market that is um, having this produced for us. What you see is what you get and what we manufacture. I would be very comfortable if I was Fred going to my financial director and saying, this is what we need. And I've got more budget now to, uh, to spread. And just to go back, if you are in a market for purchasing uh, an acoustic camera, then check this out. So considering everything we've talked about today, is there anything else you think we should know about the Hype Micro Acoustic Cameras? One of the main things is how easy it is to, to navigate around the, the menu yeah. and how the camera works in the hand of the, the operator and how the camera helps you to get to where you need to be. The, the instructions on the camera as well, so the data that it's giving you, you can easily read that on the screen as well. So, you know, when you're changing frequencies for noise, etc., around the factory, this camera can help you. And it will be easier to to navigate that that sort of issues that you get when you've got a noisy environment in a factory. So finally, if you were to sum up the Hike Microacoustic cameras in three words, what would they be? Value for money. Thank you, Andy. That was very informative. Thank you, Jess. Hopefully you're all clear on how Hike Micro's AI56 and AI76 acoustic cameras can help you see leaks, stop them and save, as we said at the beginning of the episode, up to 80% of compressed air. If you do want more information, please click the links in the description where you'll also find an option to purchase. Other than that, do look out for future Hype Micro videos. In fact, if you subscribe to this channel, you won't even have to remember to do that, as all future videos will come straight to you, so you'll never miss an important development. Okay, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.